Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. I hope you're all well, enjoying your fishing. Today we're going to tie a perdigon and like many perdigons, not a difficult tie. So let's get into the tying. I have in the vise a size 16 light nymph hook with a 2.8 copper bead and I'll be tying with 10-0 brown thread. So let's uh, set the bead. This uh, fly is a fine alternative uh, when things are a little bit on the difficult side. It's dark, so we know that that is going to help its catching ability. And uh, it has some flash in it as well. So that will help. Right, I've set the bead. I'll just trim off the excess. And I'm going to be using uh, medium pardo coq de lion for the tail. Just uh, take some fibers off. And tie them in. I don't want a long tail. Just something that uh, gives the hint of a tail. And bind it down and trim off the excess. Right now, there is going to be uh, a rib and it is this uh, brown patina. Uh, which uh, is a tinsel and it comes from hens, uh, patina number 33, which is a dark brown. So I'm just going to take a, a piece off to tie in. It's quite a fine tinsel, so uh, it's perfect for what, uh, what we're going to do with it. Tie it in, down to the rear of the shank. And trim off the excess. Right, we're now going to build some shape into the fly. The uh, perdigon shape, the carrot type shape, where it's a lot to uh, thicker, closer to the bead. Just take your time and build up a nice even base. Getting thicker as you come closer to the bead. Like so. Right, now I'm going to put a little bit of glue onto the uh, patina to help keep it in place. Now when you tie this, it's a rib, uh, not too wide open the rib, quite close together, so that it is almost segmented. And with the brown thread underneath, of course, it's just fine. And tie off the patina. And trim up the excess. Right, now there is a collar. And the collar is this uh, yellow pearl. It's a, a body pearl, but in this instance, I'm using it for the collar. And I'll snip a piece off. And tie this in. Just going to pull it through. Hopefully not all the way through. That's it. And wind on the yellow pearl.
and tie off the tinsel. And trim it up. There. Right, now to tie it off, I'm going to create a little black collar. And to do that, I'm going to cheat by colouring up the brown thread with a black marker. so and tie off the perdigon and trim up the excess right now we're going to varnish this with some UV varnish no, I use a, a thin UV varnish, so it shouldn't build it up too much. And give that a zap. And he picked up the marker pen to zap it with. and another fine coat on top. The two coats uh, just gives it a little bit of extra strength and resistance to the trout teeth. And as I said before, it allows me to put two coats on because it is a thin varnish. Good as that. And the tie is finished. As I say, not a difficult tie. And uh, one that you can do in a few minutes. And if you want a larger size, that's a, a size 14 um, with a copper bead, obviously. Exactly the same materials. And that may get down a little bit faster and a little bit deeper. But this is a great uh, alternative for Perdigon. Um, maybe uh, in place of uh, a pheasant tail. If you're using a pheasant tail and it's not catching as well, try one of these. It will do the job, I'm sure. Okay, thanks for viewing. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.